painted right, black. Now. Relax. I'm trying to. You got the table there so you can put the stuff. Kimmy, wait. I need whiskey here. Right here. Hey, look. Hold up, Kimmy. Hold up. All right. I want to tell them which bag should have the table. Let me see my. Okay, Sal. Sal, get over there. No, right here in your front. Can I have it like that or take it the other way? Right, relax. Okay. Yeah, it should be fine. Well, put your head, your, your microphone's on as well. Woo, sir. Okay. He said to put your microphone on, Sal. Um, he, he ain't listening. <laughs> he's, he's doing it. He's doing it. Yeah. She's busy talking at it. He ain't paying attention. Okay. 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 Mike, we don't hear you. Sal. Sal. Sal, do a mic check. One, two, one, two. Are right, you good? One, two, I'm one, right. two. I hate that orange. I can't wait till Mike gets to my screen. He needs to fix it. Uh-huh. Oh. Kenny, Kenny, wait a minute. You got to set this thing so, oh, there you go. So bring it all the way out. Bring it up. Bring, bring it a little further, Kenny. That's fun. Tell her to close her legs. Tell her to close her legs. Tell her to close her legs now. Keep her legs closed. I'll keep her closed. You gotta tell her legs now. Bring this up. Ooh, there you go. Ooh, there you go. Ooh, there you go. Ooh, there you go. Gotta show our feet. Wait, Kenny, you forgot something. Oh, that's right. We don't want to see. 
understand? That's what we have going to do right. with cameras. That's right. right. We're right. on one camera now. We don't have nobody to do the board. All right. You know what I mean? Stand by. Counting down. Three, two, one. Ready? It's Hi, everybody. Hello. How you doing? This is Brother Scott's Energy Live. How y'all doing out there today? Well, this is a part two from a gentleman who's into sports. He's into paddleball and handball. He's been on my show before. This is part two. His name is Sal Caselli. Hey, Sal Caselli. Say you know, I have Italian y'all, but you know, I got that Italian flavor. You know, I've been engaged with two Italian men, so you know, they talk a lot about. Yeah, so she didn't get his name right at all. I'm not going to come out right, but that's okay. You understand. I appreciate it. So, Mr. Sal, what's going on? Uh, just First of all, what's going on with you is that I know you won some awards this year again. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Well, the shirt I'm wearing is from the tournament. Okay. And it has my name on the back. Nice. Oh, nice. Somehow. And this was the. Tell me about this. This was the nice. trophy we got, and it was just like. First a, place! It was an eight man team thing. It was an invitational. Got wow. invited. Really? How do you feel about that sound? You know, because... I didn't feel as good because I was in a division with a guy that the division I was in. They just stuck me in, they just stick me in the higher division, didn't have enough room. So I played in the B class division and only three games, and I'd be one of going right through. But Sal, look, you got twice though. Yeah. That's an honor. That's an honor. But you know, he's used to this, because this, this young man got a lot of trophies. I don't know if y'all saw part one, but he brought in all these trophies and stuff. It was so many, it filled the whole area. Couldn't bring the whole crate. <laughs> he couldn't even bring the whole crate. That's true. That's how many trophies this gentleman has. Been. How long you been doing uh, playing paddle ball and so, handball? Around my birthday, March 17. Next year, I'll be playing 34 years. Wow. I'll be 42. Wow. You don't look it either. I know. You I've been to been to a lot. So have I, Sal. I'm 61. It's just <laughs> I, I don't give up. I just had to limit my my mobility. Well, way. you know, like I was explaining to him, his mom, his mom is here today. Hi, mom. How you doing? She's a beautiful woman. You got a beautiful family. And let me just tell you something. Like I just told to your mom about the mobility is that it's a part of life. Our life changes. And it's something that I'm getting used to because, you know, I, I speak into sports too. You know, I used to swim every day. I used to last every day. I love the water. But I can't do that no more. I can get in the water because I love the ocean, but I can't go like I used to because this thing, this nerve damage, it, it, it can lock up at any time. And maybe one of the sharks might want to eat me. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, getting back to you, Sal. But that's a true, that's a true statement. You know, when you get up in age, you know, and you should be, it's an honor that you have been able to be in sports this long. You know, some people don't even last that long. That's why I'm saying, you know, you look good. I don't know, it's just a personal that. That personal thing happened three years ago. Yeah. So it made me three years rec when I recovered, mm -hmm. I aged. I feel I my body aged a little bit more than it should have. Yeah, because you know our metal metabolism slows down. So we don't heal like we do when we're young. You know what I mean? It takes longer for your body to heal, but you know we can overcome all that. And you have I I, I admire you for that because. For you to be still be playing doing sports, you know, that's an honor. Well, the change stuff right now, I'm in a group chat with one of my friends that's in the chat I know. Mm -hmm. Right now, 
I'm like the coordinator, president of the group chat in Staten Island, and okay. we play at these two different parks, Midland and Tyson. Right now, all my my friends had them in the WhatsApp groups. Right now, we got 23 people. In it. Wow, that's so they, they all check up on me. Oh, we want to play. You want to do this? And then we're so, trying to get at least 32. Okay. Or a little more, 32, because of next year I, I can't i'm they're good but i'm a little more experienced than them okay i'm gonna run a tournament for everybody in that group chat next year and i'm not gonna play i'm gonna run it for just locally in the for them the instructors though. no i'm gonna run the tournament for them that's in the chat okay. i'm not gonna play in it because oh. i don't want to take win the prize easy off them. oh so i'm gonna <laughs> no but i'm they asked me today, and I said, nah, I have things to do, and I told them where I was going. They said, get low. So I want you to tell the public, you know, where they can find you in terms of, you know, when y'all do these tournaments, you know, that you got, you have now with this new group. You said, where's Midland at? Off of uh, Father, Ca it's Midland Avenue off of Father Capadano. Okay, is that Staten Island? That's Staten Island. Okay, for those who live in Staten Island, you probably know the area. And where's the other place? It's... Weed Avenue parks on Weed Avenue off of Tyson's Lane. That's in Dunk. I think that's that could be. Yeah, a little uh, town in Staten Island. I don't know if that's Oakwood Heights or that's that might be close to Oakwood that Heights. Is that near Highland Boulevard or something? That's right with the. It's right right near Highland. It's right with the Burger King. That close now. Where you make, there's a turn you make and I know. <laughs> I'm not from Staten Island, y'all. I'm still learning to believe it or not. There's certain places I've been that I, I'm familiar with. So anyway, let's get back to this. Um, I want you to tell us about, you know, the fundamentals of paddleball and stuff that you want to talk about with the paddle balls and handball, the difference between the two. Well, the handball is actually... Can we, can we lift it up so they can see what the handball It's a more competitive sport. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, mm -hmm. you wear gloves mm -hmm. to prevent cuts like this, glass and everything, you know, and, and you don't get cuts or scrapes, you know, right. protect your hand. Oh, okay. You know, what? and then actually, I wish it would have matched, but it it's okay. Close in the dark. Oh, wow. This is nice. Yeah, I do too. They're, they're similar to biker gloves. Biker gloves are made different yeah, material. They're, yeah, they're leather. I got that. so many, I don't even need gloves anymore. But I had them donated for kids, and then the organization sent them to me for myself. So I got yeah. like too many. So you have quite a good, uh, good sponsorship to you. Not really. Yeah. It's just I have to prove how many I got just to get the donation of the pets. I have to have kids. Yeah. With their name and the picture. So you will explain that a little more to people so they can understand and so you can invite kids and other kids that might want to come in to learn how to play paddle ball and stuff because it's a it's a very challenging sport. You know, I I know I play tennis, I play racquetball, you know, but it's all similar. It's, it's all got the similar thing where we move our body how we move, right? It's similar. It's it's well, similar. Let's explain it. It's <laughs> similar. But te when you're playing tennis, mm -hmm. you're holding it up here, mm -hmm. like with a paddle, the handle's a little thick like this. Right. So when you go to swing, you have wrist, and you're not hurting much of your elbow or shoulder, because if you go side on too much, it you hurts. Can, you can. The more you do wrist, even like handball, the more you do wrist, mm -hmm. you don't hurt yourself, because if you're using your stiff arm, you're putting you are pulling every pressure on here. Yeah. Let me see that. Let me so see. that's why I have some little... Yeah, my brother used to play tennis. I like tennis, oh. but I wasn't really tennis-like savvy. I like racquetball. I was into the racquetball balls. The balls. So it's all in the wrist, right? It's like all in the wrist. It's all in the uh, wrist yeah. when you swing. But it's all in the wrist. It's, it's like racquetball, too, because racquetball oh. is in the wrist. But racquetball, you got to really... Yeah, you really. Yeah, you like and <laughs> you're pulling when you're going like this. You're using all these joints, and you have to watch because you could actually pull. You could screw up your arm a little bit because you because wow. when you're playing on a four wall court indoors, 
comes off the wall. You have to really go like this. Once it bounces off the wall, you really got to use all your strength going and you could really. Yeah, that's interesting. That's really interesting. This is lightweight too. Actually, I just got that from a friend almost a, almost a year ago. It's one of the lightest things and I don't feel, I don't really feel much pain. No, it's light. I love it. Oh, I like that. <laughs> nice. So anyway, the difference between paddle ball and the difference between handball, handball you got to you got to use a lot of skills with your legs, your arms, and you got to have the stamina. Yeah. And right, it's like me. I have the stamina, but I can't. After a while, because of the condition, I I run I can't I run out of stamina pretty fast though. Well, listen, you had your you had your years of experience with this, and that's a blessing by itself, Sal. And like I said, I'm honored to have him here because for him to be the age that he is, and he just won another award this year. This year, first place. Actually, this is the second. This is Wait a minute, sem- go ahead. this is the semis for a handball third. Singles and doubles. It was third. This okay. was this pet. This was the begin the beginning of uh, no actually this was the end of the end of July. This okay. was it wasn't wow, bad. This Let me see that. This is really nice. I actually got to yeah, add the third okay. in, but uh, I got my souvenir, y'all. Thank you, Sal. Thank you for my <laughs> thank you for my gift. <laughs> I love it. So tell us, Sal, so tell us, just talk about the kids and stuff, what you're doing now in terms of... Well, right now, I was to trying to get involved with kids with a program, but... Okay, let's talk about it. Talk with about all this, it. I can't say that much in a bad okay. situation with, okay. on the news, but with all this going on, yes. it's hard for me to get in with the school and get all the part, you know, just there... Wow. I don't want to, you understand. Yes. And it's but hard. you know what? I'm going to say this on my show, people out there, you know, if you see this, if you're watching this show, you know, those the school just started back. You know, we're going to give South information toward the end. So you make sure you follow him because, you know, he's looking for a sponsorship and he's also looking for those kids that want to get into paddleball and handball. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of kids out there that likes handball and paddleball. Cause you know, I go see the parks and the kids be out there and be playing handball. You know, and it's a good sport, it's a good exercise, it's a good thing for the mind, get your brain sweated so you can keep a clear head. And that's what I They have programs everywhere else, but I'm trying to do it for out here, it's not now. Right. And it's very hard. And I, you know, I don't want to talk about the political political aspect of that because I don't understand why Staten Island don't have certain things that other boroughs do have. So please, you need to support this man here because he's, he's an awesome um, sports commentator, all of that. And you know, and he, he, he does his stuff from the heart and he's good at it. And I just love seeing him and his mom is wonderful. Y'all got to meet her one day. She, she's a beautiful woman as well. I'm glad she's here today. I'm glad I get to see her today again. But uh, you know, it's just a she kind of gets She kind of gets angry. Where you go, uh, where you go and I'm putting the, and at four o'clock, I want to go to the park for an hour to sit there or just to play a game. And she's yeah. like, well, then I got to pick it up. <laughs> it's okay, mom. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, then you stay busy, you know. I try, you know, I try but it's now since what's happening, now the weather's changing. And yeah, that's true. then I found out the condition's a little different, so I don't know how the weather's going to make me feel. Yeah, well, listen, like I said, you in the change of life. And you can overcome it. And I say that to you because it helps build my character in terms of my bones and my pain. Like you know, you're going and I'm older than you. So I, I that's that keeps that keeps me motivated. That's why I'm saying that to you. It keeps me motivated that you know what? This too shall pass. You just gotta find another way around to do what you like to do your best. Because this is this is your drive and this is what you do, and you're not gonna quit. Right, right, right. A few weeks ago, I played on this Sunday from nine to seven. Mm -hmm. I played this, then him all day, and then I went back the next day with friends from two o'clock to, and then the day after that, 
Yeah, so I over did, you overdid it. You know what? I didn't you feel nothing. I didn't feel nothing until two days later. I know you didn't. You felt that pain. That's because <laughs> you know why it was ninety something degrees. Okay. I and the heat. I you feel great. Out there. You no, it, right? I like the heat. I don't feel nothing. Wow. I'm out there in the hunt. I used to be out there in the hunt. I used to. And I don't feel nothing in the heat. That's it. And I like See, it. I, the tan I got. Nice tan, by the way. But you know what? I just love the heat. The difference from your 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 strength with that is that I, the heat drives me crazy. I gotta be in water. It I doesn't be cold. You could give me drink. Uh, I don't drink soda. I drink uh, I drink juices, water. no sugar, and yeah. everything. Water, and you give me a uh, watermelon or a cantaloupe for the whole day, and I'm good. Cause I can't have really food in my stomach when I'm on the court. Yeah, yeah but I'm good for the whole day with like that. Yeah, it's healthy. It's very healthy. You know, and what I was saying is that in terms of me, the opposite from you, you like the heat. I like the cold. But the cold don't like me because I have nerve damage now. And the cold attacks the bone. And it makes, it, it irritates the nerves. That's the problem that I'm going through now. And it's hard for me, so I have to learn how to wrap up now. You know, at nighttime, I have to make sure I have a blanket on my bed. You know, I just don't like to have no blankets on the bed. Uh, I'm a hot-blooded person. My body's all warm, but lately because of my age, like I said, and not change the subject, it's that the cold don't like me no more, but I love the cold. I love the winter. I like the summer because I have central air fans going in my base room and it's so cold and my mother goes in the computer room. She's mm -hmm. got to, I have to shut the vent and she's got to put a sweater on. Yeah. She puts it on and I'm like, wait a minute, I got a tight top and... <laughs> Yeah, see? No, I do that in summer, but the winter, I gotta have the heat. I'm the reverse. <laughs> I gotta have the heat, I have a heated blanket. I'm the reverse. Winter, I'm, I don't like the cold. Summer, I like the air. Yeah, the air. Like that, yeah. Even in the summertime, in the wintertime, I have, I let the windows be cracked. Especially if you live, if you don't live in a house. Like me, I grew up in living houses. I never lived in a project before. I'm in a project now, and that project heat is disgusting. That project heat it makes you sick. I, I went into somebody's apartment, no change of subject. I said, oh my God, I have to get out of here. I can't breathe. It was so hot in the apartment. I said, no wonder everybody's sick in here. Y'all got to open your windows. If you go out during the day, you crack your windows, let the germs out. Because you're obtaining the germs with that heat. I call it, they call it project heat. Project heat is where you can't control your home heat system. They control it. Yeah. So that's bad. It's bad. Then you wonder why people are sick and your kids go to school and they come back from some other kid got germs and now their germs spread through the whole school. Yeah. But of course they don't care. Next subject, let's get back to it. <laughs> I'm going to go on political, political, politically correct because it is what it is. And even with the sports and stuff, it all has an effect. Because this gentleman here is is doing his thing and trying to get a program together I, that I've talked about before for for kids. And what do you want to say? I, I spoke to people that played paddle mm -hmm. and everything. And they told me, they told me, oh, why don't you put a thing on social media to raise? And I tried all this. And well, I, as a joke, a friend joke. of mine, as a joke, put laughing out loud, and I can't say the number, okay, but he okay. gave me, <laughs> it was not, a, it was as a joke. I could just use my finger. Stop. That's what he gave. You know what? And I, I said, I, some, I, got, some, I got pissed. <laughs> that's, some, that's some very English, excuse me, crap. You know... I, you know, when I when I say, well, I'm glad you brought that up because just like me, I'm independent Sal, and I didn't have the show for now going six years, and you know I tried to do what I can in the community I live in, which is rotten, and at the same time, it's sad when you got people that's there in the community that's taking from them. Yeah. See, what I'm trying to do is when I try to go Taking. To, when I try to talked about it before when I try to go to the tournament I sometimes I charitable like, goods sometimes I don't have the money so I tried to get sponsored have the money raised for me no budge well you know what 
during the club because when I started, I had a teen summit. I told you about. When I get everything on my YouTube, maybe I'm going to get him. He's a tech person too, so I might have Sal do some tech work. You know, because he's good at that too. He's got many channels, y'all. I just want to let y'all know. Putting it out there for you, child. But the point that I'm making is that when I started my teen summit, make a long story short, I said, you know what? I didn't know anybody really yet. I'm not from Sat now. But I went out there, and my daughter, she was in elementary, said, Mom, because I'm, I'm a little cook, which I am. I said, Mom, why don't you make cupcakes and cupcakes and stuff? She said, I said, you know what, baby? That's a good idea. So I got into baking, Sal. I, I was enjoying it because I was doing it with my daughter. It was a family thing, too. I was doing it with my daughter. I was doing something with me and my daughter because she had to Yeah. I baked over like 100 cakes, cupcakes in one night. Oh, we said all night, different flavors. And then someone ordered some from me. And then a lady had an event. I bought all these cupcakes and the people she had there, just sitting around because she had a spa treatment thing going on. I bought all these cupcakes there. And I was really charging like $2 for a cupcake. Especially they, they were nice. It was nothing. But guess what? I ended up taking half of it back. I gave out, I didn't want to take all of that. I gave, gave, gave away. I said, oh, boy, I was kind of disappointed. She had me bake all these cupcakes that she ordered for her guests. And she only had like 10 women there. So I understand what we're talking about. The work you put into what you do, you know, and it's for a good cause. It's not like it's going in your pocket. It's something that you're trying to raise for the kids. And trying to raise for myself because it was difficult. Right, yeah, for help you promote your business and all that stuff. No, to help promote myself to go to a tournament. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. That's what I'm talking about. Promote yourself for well, they want to get. They want to get into personal things. Oh, you, your, parent, your parents got it all. And all that. I say it's none of your business how my, what my parents, I says it's personal. But you know what? I don't like to talk about yeah. like that. But see, that's, see, they that's, make it personal. That's where I say that's just being ignorant. If you don't want to help somebody, shut up. Don't say nothing at all. Here they are here busting their butts and you're trying to defame their character practically. Or, or, or make excuses or trying to embarrass them or humiliate them. Because that's what that is to me. That's how I look at it. I know how you feel. Because you're going to meet people all across the, all across the world. Everybody's not going to be happy. Because Misery Loves Company, and that's one thing I continue to stay fast on because nothing has changed, Sal, in, in anything you do. Anything you do. you got to learn how to shoot them people out. And sometimes... Not saying nothing is the best thing. You know why? Because it keeps your your pride and your sanity within yourself. Because anytime somebody says something ignorant and you react to it, they got the upper hand. And, and you know, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard, especially when you have a passion about something that's so important to you and you're trying to do for somebody else. But that's where the, hum the humble has to be real strong, fast, and it's hard because I do go through it every day. I live in a neighborhood with people who are just, they, I don't even call them human. Not everybody in my neighborhood, but the majority of the people there, they got some mental, mental issues going on. Mental is mental. Never, probably never seen a counselor, nobody in their life. But I tell you one thing, you need to be on something. I'm telling you, besides smoking toxic. We even check. It's a shame. Uh, this kid I used to help out mm -hmm. in 12, and he was at a recent tournament in January with me, mm -hmm. indoors, and then for some reason, mm -hmm. nobody sees him no more talking. He started doing, actually he was doing it then. I think he just turned 20 or 21. He's mm -hmm. doing a lot of vape marijuana. And oh. It killed, and he just, Stop talking. No, he just stopped talking to me, and that was the end of that. And I used to support him a lot in the tournament. So his brain has been warped from smoking the vape. Yeah, he's, he's, that's all he's doing now. I I and seen you know, him once this year. You know after January, I seen him. He was. Did they change that he was all oh, I know, I know, I know, because just like this pedophile got a hold of my daughter, 
We took off her medication so we could give her Molly and other stuff to mess her up. So that's what I think he's doing too. Yeah. yeah. And his parents don't synthetic, synthetic chemical, synthetic drugs. And his parents, he's a Chinese kid, six foot, and his parents are sh like strict a little. And it's, I don't know, yeah, he used to try to come to me for the glasses, yeah, then he ordered back, but you know what? I don't think they can control, control him. I haven't, no, so I haven't spoken to him since February of this year. If he's doing that, that stuff like he is. I'm not saying like my, he's doing a lot of marijuana. Right, right, that. right. Well, that's basically, you know, and there's, I don't know, there's so much stuff out here these kids are doing that, that is, is, is chemically messing up their brain even more. And that's the scary part because they get out here and they act crazy, crazy lucid and they don't remember what they did. No, he knew what he was doing, but you know what? He'd get too <laughs> messed up that when he played, he'd play, but shots he would normally make, he's not even... He, He's not because he's not coherent. He's not concentrating. He's either. not coherent because of what he's smoking. Yeah. It's, it's damaging his brain cells. And that's what that stuff is doing. And in terms Because I tried to contact he messaged me on the phone about a week ago. Yeah. Said, yo, Sai. And then I messaged him back. His name did he I messaged him back and he's like, No, this is not such and such. Mm -hmm. But I know it's him. Wow. He's trying to be Ted. He's somebody else. Yeah, <laughs> but I know it's him because of the way he messages back. Right. Because he said the word. Mm -hmm. That's what he's, and I met, answered him back and, he, oh, it's not me. But then he called one time and did the same thing, but I hear the voice. So and I, I can tell. So I he's like, it's not so, me, it's not me. And I can tell he's, he had. Right. So you know what? We're going to pray for this young man because you know why? Because. He, you know, hopefully if he sees the show that he'll understand what this, whatever he's doing is messing up his whole character, you know, and everything. Because you know him as so much a boy, he was a good kid. I've known him since he's like 12 years old. Or yeah. like, I used to take him to the tournament and help uh -huh. him, pay, like, support him in it. Oh, can you take me to the tournament? I used to have to go all the way to Poco and then all the way to uh -huh. now. I go on my own and it's... Well, let me ask you a question, Sal. In terms of this whole thing, like, for the kids and everything, how do you think that it would... Like, in this day and time, what we're dealing with is that these kids are in a more and more high rate peer pressure. And I think, I find that, I know, I know you find sports keep that, sports has kept a lot of kids out of trouble. It actually keeps a lot of kids out of trouble and it, Stop them from committing a crime. Yes, or committing suicide. The suicide yeah. rate is still very high, y'all. Our kids are losing, losing them like crazy, and it's it's over little stuff like vape. 